What if I told you Johnny Depp's win against Amber doesn't end the baggage he is carrying? What more is he struggling with? What is this new case that he got caught into? Would he win or lose this new case against a location manager? Stay tuned to find out answers to all these questions. So let's get started. Johnny Depp's time in court isn't over yet. He's now facing another legal process, not in Virginia but in Los Angeles. He's expected to take the stand again after Greg Rocky Brook, who sued him civilly for hitting him on the set of the movie City of Lies. This is going to begin on July 25th. Even this time, Camille will represent Johnny again. This brings me to the actual question. What was the problem between Brooks and Depp? Greg Rocky Brooks filed suit against Depp on July 6, accusing the actor of inflicting emotional distress, according to the Los Angeles County Court docket. Brooks claims in the suit that he was working as a location manager for the movie City of Lies, also known as Labyrinth. According to TMZ, on April 13, 2017, when he told Depp and the film's director the scene which starred two of Depp's pals wasn't working out, according to Brooks, that's when Depp became volatile, and Brooks went to find a Los Angeles police officer for protection. But before Brooks could get help, he claims that Depp punched him twice in the ribcage. And to add to this tale of his, he said Depp told him, I'll give you $100,000 to punch me right now in return for his jabs. Depp's bodyguards reportedly had to remove Johnny Depp from the scenes to calm things down. Brooks also claimed in his lawsuit that Johnny Depp's breath smelled of alcohol during the fight. Now let's see what Depp has got to say on this. Nevertheless, Depp claimed Brooks provoked the actions that resulted in his injury. You would be shocked to know that the suit is for unspecified damages. Speaking of whether there's a chance for Johnny to win or not, Emma Danoff witnessed the whole incident with JD and Greg Brooks and has given a sworn declaration on JD's behalf. Rocky's lawyer, Pat Harris, said, Brooks' case is not about two Hollywood celebrities involved in a toxic relationship. It's about the assault of a hardworking film crew member by the star of the production. Mr. Brooks looks forward to his day in court. Depp is also being sued by two former guards and in the midst of a legal battle with his former manager. Johnny Depp has so much on his plate, and it seems like it'll take a while for him to step out of the court. But this is already looking like another win for Johnny, since a Twitter user posted, Brad Furman, the director of the City of Lies denied in an interview that Johnny Depp punched Rocky Brooks. The script supervisor also submitted a declaration and 40 photos of the incident, saying Rocky Brooks was yelling racial slurs at a homeless woman and JD told him to stop. This makes me wonder if this is a simple assault or a hoax to cash in. Well, the time is to answer that question, and the true reason for the case is undisclosed monetary charges. In four years, Mr. Brooks has not provided one piece of credible evidence or a single witness of merit. Does that not look suspicious to you guys? If you look at Johnny Depp, he has credible evidence and many witnesses of merit. Camille Vasquez will win again in this case. Brooks says he was fired after refusing to sign an agreement not to sue the production company. His attorney, Pat Harris, said Brooks tried to downplay the incident later, fearing that worsening the situation would harm him professionally. Nevertheless, Harris said word got around in the location manager community, and Brooks found himself struggling to get work. Harris, Rocky's lawyer, told Variety, We obviously recognize that in the hierarchy of Hollywood, Johnny Depp is on top, and the location managers are somewhere mid-level or toward the bottom. In any confrontation between the two of them, no matter who started it, no matter who's responsible, Johnny Depp is going to come out on top, and our guy is going to come out damaged. This sounds so like Amber Heard. I mean, Depp is a star, but that doesn't come into the justice he deserves. Depp is expected to testify that he did not hit Brooks, but rather confronted him verbally after he saw Brooks acting belligerent toward a woman on set. Depp's attorneys have also argued in pretrial briefs that there is no evidence suggesting that Depp had any hand in preventing Brooks from getting work. As usual, Harris alleges that Depp is lying and that Brooks never berated anyone on set. Harris argues that Depp has long cultivated the image of a Hollywood bad boy and should have foreseen that the altercation might harm Brooks. After the incident, the two men hugged it out and took a photo together. This is ridiculous in every way possible now that Rocky is suing Johnny. Let's wait and see how the proceedings will go on. So subscribe to the channel for more updates on this.